What is going on guys welcome to another video of chat application development series in android studio in last video we designed this beautiful login screen where we have this country code picker we have this phone number input we have this button progress bar image and we have some steps so in this video we are going to work on second steps that will be our otp activity and also third step that will be our username activity the layout will be similar so we will do it fast so let's get started So let's close all these tabs and I will create new activity, empty activity that will be our login. Second activity, it will be OTP activity. Click on finish. Let's go to this design screen. Click on split over here. We don't have to change much things. So I will copy from this login screen that we have already created login phone number. I will copy everything and paste it over here remove all this and paste it so go to top here we have to name the tool context will be login OTP activity now first thing we will change the step highlight to second one so first one it will be gray and second one it will be my primary so as you can see we are on second step now now let's change this image also so I will make a drawable new vector asset clip art i will make an password i will take this icon you can take any icon click on ok i will make it otp icon size will be 100 dp next next and click on finish we have this otp icon now let's change the background of this image view to otp icon it will look like this and we have to change this enter mobile number instead of that enter OTP sent to your phone number so we will write this and we don't need this country code picker we will remove this country code picker from here instead of mobile it will be OTP and input type will be number and we will give the max length of that OTP to six digits since Firebase will give six digit OTP I will give six digit and instead of the send OTP button we will rename it as next so we'll go to next screen from this so now last thing we will add is resend otp button so that we can click on that and resend the otp after some time so after this linear layout i will add text view width will be match parent height will be wrap content text will be for now let's say resend otp in 30 second let's center it and let's give some layout weight to this also so we have 20 over here let's distribute it to 10 and for this also layout weight will be 10 so that it will get equal space so we'll use this text view as a button in the application so when we click on this text view we should resend the otp that's it so our otp screen is also done now let's create third step that is our username input screen so let's go to package new activity empty activity it will be login username activity click on finish go to this layout click on split now let's paste from that phone number login screen copy everything login username screen paste it change this context to login username activity and highlight the third one so i will set the first one to gray third one to my primary and this icon also i will make drawable new vector asset icon will be person icon something like this okay let's say person icon and 100 db click on next finish change this image view source to person icon instead of enter mobile number it will be enter your username country code will not required edit text will be username instead of send otp it will uh, we can write next also but let me in so that's it our third screen is also done and we are done with the ui designs of the login screens so we have completed designing for all the login screens now let's close all and to use those views in our activity we need some id 
we have to assign the id to the layouts we have not assigned any id to the layouts so first i will go to activity login phone number and i will assign the id so that we can access it from java code so in this phone number login we need id of this country code picker so that we can get the country code what is there so i will assign id i will give login underscore country code so it will be our id for mobile number i will give the id login underscore mobile number and for the send otp button id will be send otp button progress bar also we need so id login progress bar that's it we need these four things only now let's go to otp screen here we need this otp edit text id so id will be login underscore otp and this next button also so id will be login underscore next button progress bar will be id login progress bar and for this recent otp also we have to change so that we can access it so id will be resend otp text text view so we only need this thing from our otp screen let's go to the username screen from here we need the username edit text so id will be login username and button for let me in id will be login let me in button and progress bar will be login progress bar so that's it we have assigned id to all the layouts so that we can access it from the java code so that's all for this video in next video we will start writing code for login activity if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to click on the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye